In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to prep a dump pouch for mounting. Now, this is a finished product. This is a Condor dump pouch. This is one of their large ones. This isn't one of the like little quick ones or whatever, or Molly ones. So you can buy these typically for about 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. So pretty cheap, but this is what it looks like before minus, you know, I, I already took out the elastic bands that, that would fit in here. I just cut one side and pulled, uh, pulled it out. So, uh, I basically find all this to be useless and it actually takes up an unnecessary amount of room and gutting it is actually the best way to do it. So the way I like to prep the, the Condor dump pouch is actually get rid of all of this, but there's a specific way to do it to where you don't cause a particular mess or take too much time, an unnecessary amount of time rather. So this one's already connected to my girlfriend's belt kit, so you know it's already ready to go. And that's one thing I like about uh, this large uh, Condor uh, roll-up pouch is you can connect it pretty much anywhere, and it holds a good amount of mags. I can fit six to eight mags in here, so it's not like one of those cheap little like pull-out Molly mags that will hold like three or four, and then you'll start spilling mags everywhere. So. This rigidity or rigid um, little uh, piece right here actually keeps it open, so you don't have to play the game of this thing folding closed or anything. So it's very easy to conduct retention reload. So it's very important to prep it properly because sometimes, if you have the elastic bands in here, it can actually prevent you from uh, getting your mags in there if there's any kind of tension or whatever. So it can actually cause snagging issues when you're trying to conduct uh, retention reloads. So I don't recommend just dropping them on the ground and then picking them up later. Retain your magazines, it doesn't really slow you down. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and start on getting this prep. So as you see, we got these back panels. Sorry, my counter's a little wet because it's a countertop. I use it to prep food, right? So anyways, uh, you got these that you can you know, roll up your pouch and stuff. If you want to keep them, fine. Uh, there's, it's just going to take a while before this isn't going to be a problem if you're worried about noise discipline and such. If you don't really need them, like you're never going to roll it up, you're just going to let it flap, then just go ahead and cut it off. And the only thing you're going to need for all this is scissors. Pretty easy. Walmart purchase, right? So you can see how fresh this is. I just got it in the mail like not that long ago and I started processing it and I thought oh this would be a good time to do a video so I'm still like tossing out you know pieces that aren't usable so let's see how do they have this yeah this little hanger just comes off like so same with this side and didn't even need to cut the zip tie so no big deal now the thing with this internal piece if you flip it inside out, right there, you'll notice the drain holes are actually riveted in uh, between the nylon outer and this little, you know, plastic inner layer. I don't see the point of it all being pretty and being easy to clean and all uh, slick and stuff. In fact, this just makes a lot of noise right here. So when things are moving around in here, it makes a lot of noise. This has no noise to it whatsoever. It makes no noise in the field. So I prefer not having this crap. Anyways, you're not really taking down weight, but you are taking down unnecessary amounts of crap. So what I noticed is most of this can actually be pulled apart. So let me go ahead and get an entry cut here. There we go. Just enough to get it started. Now I'm going to bring it to the inner seam right here. And then I'm just going to start pulling. And you'll get to sticking points or whatever, and that's fine. And that's when you just actually start cutting away. No big deal. There we go. Get out of the way of my own hand. So you'll have a double seam here because it's actually folded over here. So that's fine too. I mean, this is the part where you're just going to need scissors. And it's just going to be... You know, kind of nasty. I wouldn't recommend actually like unstitching or anything because you you want this layer right here. This kind of holds on to the plastic layer as well. So that little stiffener. That's what keeps it open and keeps it to where you can actually conduct retention reloads without you know much hassle. 
because that's really the point, right? That's the point of the dunk pouch, not just to be something passive. And again, if you're going to set this up to actually use it, do not put the dump pouch behind you or somewhere where you can't reach it on a speed reload. Put it like where this is on the support side, you know, pretty much right below your easiest mags to reach. And if your easiest mags to reach are on the front, uh, don't put it there. Don't put it like a, like a nut sack protector or anything. Just put it off to your support side or whatever because you got to think ahead think ahead to having it loaded with mags you don't want it on your stomach where it's going to prevent you from going in the prone or anything like that anything ridiculous just put it on your support side so it's flapping down my video on the alice lbe reload techniques you can see that it's on it's right below the first mag which is still on my left hip my support side hip so it's not getting in the way and this is the most time consuming part, but I figured that this is a good time to talk about the little TTPs, as it were. <clears throat> so, this is easy. Alright. Make sure you're not cutting the, uh, the actual outer edge or outer part of the pouch either. I mean, that should be common sense, but, you know, people are people, right? So, now we got the drain holes. Now, there's a couple of areas where it's actually stitched, where you can see this, it's actually stitched just to kind of keep it all one piece, so it doesn't, you don't have this inner layer flapping around independently of the outer layer, which is nice, a really good construction if you care to have this inner layer, but I find that it just, like, wastes room. There's actually air pockets in here that could actually fit an entire, like, two mags or whatever. So, here's a seam for that, or the stitch, and I'm just going to cut right about the stitch. Just being careful not to actually slice the outer layer, obviously. Now, with the actual drain holes, I just ball it up, kind of like this, and I just leave a little bit of excess, cut right through, and now I have the drain hole again. No big deal. And dump pouches, when you go into the prone, they will collect stuff. So. And here, you can see, same situation on this side. They just do it in two random spots, it looks like. Uh, each, one of them's a, each one of them's a little different. When I processed uh, this one, or went through this process with this uh, dump pouch, there was only two little areas, and they were right next to the drain holes. So it wasn't like this one, where they was long. It was actually very short. It was like hanging on by like a thread or two. So anyways, that's pretty much it. So. All you need is scissors and, you know, five minutes in order to be able to process one of these and be ready to mount them. Now, once you do mount them, one thing that you can do is to make this, you know, last a little bit longer, or not last a little bit longer, but really make it to where this thing isn't going to, like, come unbuttoned or anything, is you can actually zip tie this right at this knuckle area. I call this the little knuckle. Uh, I would zip tie right between the button and this knuckle. And I would zip tie it tight. And that's if you're concerned about buttons unsnapping. Because they can unsnap. You can snag this. I mean, it is what it is. It, I mean, you move, you use your gear. You're going to find the, fall, the flaw or flaws. Wow, English. You can find the flaws in your gear when you start to use it. So I actually do zip tie my own dump pouch. My girlfriend didn't really see the need for it. So, you know, that's on her. But anyways, to each their own. Also, you'll notice this little plastic piece comes out. This is the little piece that keeps the little stretchy band nice and controlled around here. So, you know, you'll see this come out as well. It's just a little inner tubing. Just cheap little inner tubing. Alright? Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's how you, you process a... Uh, dump pouch. Not all dump pouches are made the same. Some may not have inner layers that you can really deal with. Some have, may have like a canvasy layer, like a waterproof uh, layer that looks like an inside out tarp or whatever. But, you know, only, only dump pouches like this are really going to be able to be prepped for mounting. But anyways, I know this was kind of a long video, a lot of jabbering, but there is a bit of information from my experience to, to pass on. So, I apologize if you're so impatient that this, you know, hurts your feelings, but anyways, hope this was helpful and uh, can help you get more dovetailed into good tactical training.
You guys have a good one.